Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Friday, April 16th, 2021. All right, let's get started. I want to cross game on an erasable court. Hmm, erasable court. Is this some kind of game you play on a chalkboard or a whiteboard? I don't know if I've ever heard of that before. Reaction to someone tapping a microphone, maybe. Hmm. Tapping a microphone. That's like a mic check or something? Hmm. I don't know. Not falling for... Could that be onto? If you're onto someone's tricks, you're not falling for them, I guess. Tiny fraction of a minute. Uh, would it be a nanosecond? N sec, maybe? I think maybe I've seen that before on a crossword. I'm just going to see if this makes sense here. Post blank analysis. Yeah, that would be post hoc. Like, after the situation analysis. Okay. Hmm. Is this like pawn something? Ill proportioned. Hmm. I want to say it's going to start with a U, so it'd be like un something. Sharp mind, so to speak. So somebody who's quick witted, maybe? Hmm. Isn't blank lovely? The songs, isn't she lovely, right? Dish akin to a stromboli. Ooh, I don't know if I actually know what a stromboli is. I know it's a villain in Pinocchio, isn't it? Hmm. Sharp mind. Steel? I wanted to start with steel. Maybe, oh, you know what this could be? It could be a hush, like the audience would hush if somebody taps a microphone. They're getting quiet in anticipation of someone speaking. Yeah. So this still makes no sense to me. H-O-N. Hmm. I wonder if N sec is wrong. I wonder if it's like millisecond or... Hmm. Unshapely? For ill-proportioned? Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's that's a good answer there. Okay, let's see if we can get some downs off of that. Best conditions. Oh, this was just on the puzzle a couple of days ago, wasn't it? It's Optima. Yeah, like the best case scenario, plural. They joined the Big Ten in 2014. Yeah, I'm not gonna know that. I don't know anything about college sports. Keep time in a way. Hmm. How would you keep time? In like a figurative sense, maybe? I don't know about that one. It takes you to another site. I have a feeling this is going to be kind of wordplay about the internet, like going from one website to another. Hmm. A hyperlink, maybe? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Some ancient internet terminology for all you youngsters. Um, what in the world is this? Ah. Steel trap? Is that a word for someone who remembers everything? He's got a mind like a steel trap? I want to say maybe it is. Hmm. Let's see. Maybe we can build off this M here. Yappy lapdogs for short. That could be palms for Pomeranians. Hmm. Had a blast at a bash. Well, I guess this is going to be about enjoying yourself at a party. So could it be... Partied... Hard? 
maybe? Yeah, I guess maybe it could be. That's a pretty good answer there. Oh no, Far former name of Kazakhstan's capital. This was on the puzzle a week or two ago. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna remember it. Hmm. Shoot, yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I don't have any memory of it. It's, except that it had a lot of A's in it. Oh no. Sweeping, say. Maybe like a sweeping camera shot or something. It could just be tidying up too, maybe. Yeah, it could be a chore. Yeah. Last US president to have facial hair. Was it Taft? I think he's definitely the only one that fits with the T there. Um, follower of John. Is this in the Bible? Would that be Acts? I know that's a book in the Bible. The big Aristotle of the NBA. Uh, I have no idea. Is that a nickname for Shaq? Yeah, this SQ looks pretty good, and then this would be a U. Yeah, Mapo Tofu, traditional Sichuan dish. Yeah, Mapo Tofu is amazing. It's like spicy, spicy Sichuan dish, yeah. Man, this is just not ringing any bells. I can't believe, I just saw this like a week ago, and I had to look it up, and I still don't remember it. Oh, man. Football tactic to prevent a long return. I think that could be called a squib kick. Yeah, where you just kind of duff it into the ground and it only goes like 10 yards. Yeah, okay. So can we get this now? Is it a calzone? It kind of looks like it's gonna be calzone. So this is Astana? I don't remember that at all. It's, oh man. I thought it was something a little different from that. Hmm. Okay. Was it Kazakhstan's capital that we looked at? I thought, I thought it was, I thought the capital that we looked up before had two A's in a row. It was, I thought it was like Ala Amara or something. Hmm. I might be thinking of a different country actually. Hopefully the goose can straighten me out on that one. The Z in XYZ. Hmm. Well, it's the last letter in the sequence. It's not Z. Hmm. Oh, shouldn't this be hopscotch? Yeah. So it's a P sec? Is this like picto second? Oh my God, <laughs> it's horrible. All right. Hopscotch, there we go. That's why we weren't seeing that. Erasable cork because it's made in chalk. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, I don't know, is it the Terps? I know one of the teams I think is, I think it's Maryland is the Terps. So I guess that could be. Uh, oh, XYZ is examine your zipper, right? The polite way to let someone know their fly is down. Okay. File types? Like kind of computer? I don't know. It could be a way to file like in a line or a queue maybe. Fast time? Uh, fast time could be Ramadan. You fast during Ramadan, I think. Johnny, you used to cry, come on down. Um on the price is right. Shoot, what was his name? I used to watch the price is right when I was homesick from school. Hmm. I don't know if I remember his last name. Good name for a landscaper. Is it Mo? <laughs> That's pretty funny. I gotta love those aptronym clues. Those are great. All right, maybe we can build off this way. One team in an intramural match. Uh, that's usually shirts versus skins, right? Oh, birthplace of Taft. I don't know where he was born. Could be Ohio, maybe. Evidence of having gone on a run. It looks like it starts with skin. 
Skin flush? Hmm. Postponed. Hmm. And it's, it's got a C here. That's interesting. It has to be past tense. Oh, so maybe it could be on ice. There we go. That's pretty tricky. Ham it up. Uh, could be emote. Yeah, they're always looking for emote when you're overacting. Mini production company is BMW. Yeah, they own Mini. To your health is Skull, I think. I think that's the Scandinavian Cheers, if I'm not mistaken. Backdrop of many John Le Care novels. That's probably a war. Is it Cold War? Is it like spy novels? That would make sense. Hmm. K-I-T-R. Hmm. That's interesting. That's a weird way to start it. I'm not sure what's going on there. Is it Olsen? Hmm. What's this across? Wild Goose Chase? Oh boy, I should get this one. Um, okay. Uh... Wild Goose Chase. United? Hmm. Kind of acid produced during exercise. I think that's lactic acid in your muscles. Gone on a run. Oh, is it ski tracks? Like a ski run? Oh man, that's so hard. Okay. Oh, is this, is this a snipe hunt? Yeah, that's another kind of bird-themed way to describe a wild goose chase. Okay, yeah, that's that's nice. They even get another bird in there. That's really good. Um, file types. It's not ramps, is it? Is it rasps? Why would that be a file? Hmm. Yeah, that doesn't make sense to me, rasps. This looks bad. That could be, uh-oh. Yellow striped ball. I think that's the nine ball if you're talking about pool. Outfits. Hmm. This could be a verb as well as a noun. Outfits. It could be like a military outfit too, like a group. Hmm. Okay, so this is looking like Ohio. Sticking point? This looks like it wants to end in a G. Yeah, I think togs are a way to describe outfits. Yeah, it's a pretty rare word, but I think I've seen that before. I think I've seen it in like togged up or something like that, I believe is more common. Rears, like you're raising a baby. Hmm. What's this along down here? Malicious gift. Hmm. Is this the Midas touch? M I D A S T. It's almost right. Yeah, but not quite. Fleet. That could mean quick. Could be a, a bunch of ships. Seaport, whose name derives from the Arabic for obstacle. Oh, geez. Um, I have a feeling I've probably seen this before, but I'm not going to remember it. I think it's maybe the one in Yemen or Oman, somewhere around there. Dry up with age. Hmm. It's not prune. Ooh, this is a tricky corner here. Something one can't stand to do. I guess it's sit. You can't you can't stand if you're sitting. Dispenser item? Hmm. It's not soda. Dispenser. Huh. Kirkuk resident. Uh I think it's Maybe it's Iraqi? Yeah, I think this is Akaba, maybe? Now that I see that Q in there. 
It's one of those words that doesn't have a Q U. I think this might be right. Oh man, that's hard. Agree with could be jibe with. Yeah. Fleet could be rapid. That means quickly, right? Hmm. This J is interesting. Official gemstone of Utah and Texas. Oh, they have to share it. I guess it's Topaz. Uh, it's not Wizen. Hmm. What is this? This C is really weird. Oh, it, is it a straw? It is Wizen. Why is this dry? Dry up. Isn't it, to, when you're becoming wiser, isn't that with an S? Wizen? Oh, no, I'm totally confused. Is this a new word that I don't know? Wizen? I think we're gonna have to ask the goose. Is this to get wiser, goose, or is this just a new word that means to try up? Huh, well, there you go. Um, okay, so maybe the malicious gift could be a Trojan horse. There we go. Yeah, that T really helped me see that, the T and the J there. Oh no, rasps? How could it be rasps? File types? I think all of these have to be right. It really looks like it wants to be an S here. Let's, hopefully we can make that our last letter. Sticking point. Maybe a prong? Like on a um, pitchfork or something? Because you would stick stuff with it? Rears. <laughs> Is this tushes? Like your rear end? That's pretty cute. Okay, I like that one. Start working, perhaps? Um, that could be punch in, if you have a time clock that you punch in with. Discipline with postures like white crane spreads its wings and grasp the sparrow's tail. Uh, I'm gonna guess it's Tai Chi. I haven't heard of any of those postures, but that sounds about right. I used to see, I still live in Chinatown, so I'd see all the uh, people doing Tai Chi in the park behind my house. Reasonable. Um, I guess that could be sane. Tabasco for one? Hmm. Tabasco. Cover? This is a very ambiguous clue. It could be a lot of things here. Cover. Like you could pay for something if you cover something. You could figuratively like cover something like in terms of like educating someone, like you cover a bunch of material, you could literally cover something. Man. Cost of the cheap seats. And there's a wordplay clue here. Cost of the cheap seats. Hmm. Longtime morning TV co host. Is it Kathy Lee? Yeah, it was Kathy Lee and uh, Regis Philbin, right? Okay. Grands costing many grand. Oh, I think they're probably talking about grand pianos here, right? So this could be Steinways, the famous grand piano brand. Okay, cover could be coat with like paint, I guess. Tabasco? Is it a state? Is it a state somewhere? I guess that's possible. Maybe like in Central or South America, maybe? Hmm, I don't know. Quantity that sounds like an expression of relief. Few, yeah. It sounds like P-H-E-W, I guess, yeah. Soiree could be a gala. Small game often. Oh, is that prey? I don't know, are they talking about animals there? Smartphone capability for short is GPS, yeah, global positioning system. Matches 
at a table. I guess sees, if you're talking about poker. Yeah, if you see someone's bet, you match it. Yeah. So coach fair. Oh, like on an airplane, you're sitting in coach. Yeah. So I guess Tabasco is a state of some kind. Yeah, I wonder where that is. I like coach fair a lot. This is a really fun wordplay clue. Yeah, that's really good. Nice. Okay, let's look at the down here. Courteous. Hmm. So this is like mannered. Offer one's two cents could be opine. Yeah, if you're giving your opinion on something. 2017 sequel to The Wolverine. I think that was Logan, right? Yeah, was that the last Wolverine movie? I think it is. So far, at least. Get up and go. Shouldn't that be vigor? Yeah, maybe it's not partied hard. It could be partied something else though. Vim and vigor, yeah. Flabbergasted could be in awe maybe? Grammy winning Kravitz. Is that Lenny Kravitz? Yeah. And then what do we have here? Spanish chess piece. Ray. The king. I think that's right, yeah. Yeah, I think R-E-Y is Spanish for king, I believe. Courteous could be civil, yeah. Is this iPod? Device outmoded by the smartphone, yeah, iPod. And then this is party down, okay. It's a little more of a unusual phrase, but I still have heard this, I think. Yeah, okay, and then I guess this is hopefully an S here. Let's see if that does it for us. Oh, wow. Friday puzzle in 22, that's pretty darn fast, I think. I have no idea how this is file types. Hmm. I mean, I, I, the only thing I can think of for rasps are either raspberries or like a raspy voice. And none of that makes sense as far as file types go. I wonder if it's some um, like old timey files, like office files. I wonder if there was a kind of specification that was called a rasp. But yeah, that's interesting. Hopefully the goose clarified that one for us. And then this is Johnny Olson. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think um, this one felt pretty hard, even though we got through it pretty quickly. Um, I kind of felt like maybe I was on my game today, so we managed to get through it. But yeah, I don't think this was easy. Um, yeah, but the, all the long answers here are really nice. Steel Trap is interesting. Yeah, I do think I've heard that, but it's unusual. And then, yeah, there was just not a lot of like wordplay necessarily, but like a lot of nice cluing that you kind of had to sit there and think about. Like this one, the malicious gift. None of it was easy. I liked this one, of course, being a Goose fan. Um, yeah, and like fast time, like there's, it's just like kind of clues that are right on the border of being wordplay, but still, yeah. Yeah, squib kick. That's a nice entry there. Very, very nice. Yeah, like this one too. Sweeping, like it's not quite wordplay, but it's, you know, it's so ambiguous. It's it's hard to know exactly kind of what area you should be thinking about. Like this one too. Just a lot of ambiguous cluing. And that's what makes a hard late week New York Times puzzle. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed solving that one along with me. Um, I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the hardest puzzle of the week this Saturday. All right. I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.